sounding pretty good. One, two, mic check, one, two. So sounding pretty good, pretty good. Turning it down. All right. Hello, maestros, and welcome. This episode, I'll be showing you how to use shortcuts to activate your presets in Lightroom. Let's get started. All right, so I got a nice little photo of my baby girl, Jocelyn, right here, and she's looking pretty cute. Pretty cute, but we're going to try to make her a little bit cuter with some of these presets. All right, so I'm going to activate a... Hmm. Hmm. That is interesting. Oh, I'm in QuickTime Player. Oh, don't quit. <laughs> I was supposed to be recording. Whoops. Uh, okay, let's just continue. Why not? All right, so we're going to activate a nice little preset, our nice little preset palette for our shortcuts here. So you can see I just push these numbers and I'll activate these um, these presets here. And I have just a few of them uh, activated right now since I didn't want to spend the whole time of trying to create a, uh, like a sub palette system for every single one of these presets because I got a lot and I ain't got no time for that. So let's go ahead and just try a nice black and white clarity. And actually it does nothing because I need to turn on knob room. Okay, you turn on knob room by doing that and then sending them into keyboard maestro and the out into nan network session one and i'll show you how to set up this a little bit later but anyways let's start that knob room and try it again all right so now we're gonna try a nice little black and white with clarity looking real good let me add a nice little vignette and maybe a little bit of green looking pretty good but actually i want to try something else nice little nice little boxing red with a decrease the vignette a little bit yeah pretty cool pretty good i mean i would do a little something else but uh this is pretty much demonstration purposes and that's pretty good for now and i actually would create a nice little if i was going to use a keyboard monster i would have a next photo button here and then that would navigate to the next photo so i could continue applying presets so i wouldn't have to exit out and in of the preset palette very nice very nice now, how does this crazy magic work? Well, this crazy magic works with an external plugin called Knob Room. And I'll take you to it now. This beautiful plugin right there. Right there. Now, Keyboard Maestro helps by, you, by activating MIDI notes. See, this is a MIDI mapping thing and it uses notes to communicate with this plugin. So... This might look confusing right now, but it's pretty much straightforward. Let me take you through this. I'm going to import an empty, an empty one here. So when you first install Knob Room, so you go over into, you know, your Google Chrome, go to Knob Room, and then get this beautiful download right here. You see that's the same version I'm running right now. And I don't have, I'm not running the highest resolution, I mean the latest Lightroom right now, but I'm pretty close and it's working pretty good. So I think it'll be working for you too. But you know, it'll totally work for sure. Hopefully, <laughs> I think so. So anyways, you get it brand new, empty, nothing here like this. Now, if you decide to get like a beautiful, uh, if you want to follow his other instructions of setting your own, using actual physical, using actual, actual physical MIDI device, that's also a possibility. But we're gonna be using Keyboard Maestro to activate these beautiful plugins for now so what you need to do is first click here and set the note this was the note then we can set our very first one go to uh, develop preset and then select one of these that's one pretty straightforward right another one uh, develop preset pretty nice and go over to set the next one and you continue to do that and did I do that no I didn't do that but whatever uh, whatever oh it's a continuation of the uh, text here uh, okay so that's how you set it up within Lightroom so once you sit hit, hit OK and then you just need to start uh, you just need to start the plugin excuse me I had a burp there so you just need to start the plugin by going here going into the extra plugins and going to start knob room so this is the plugin manager where I use that sh shortcut to get there and I was just using the start knob room here so but since we've already started I can stop it here and you know start it up again but the problem with keyboard maestro so let me go get over get over here to a keyboard maestro real quick and go into the Lightroom palette here so this is how you would create a uh, you have your palette system set up so you use your shortcut in this application use your shortcut here in Lightroom and you have your uh, your micro and your 
key, uh, uh, hotkey trigger would be uh, zero or whatever, and all it's doing is sending an on, sending an on note with a channel. Actually, this is the uh, this is the note zero. This is the channel, and keep this at uh, 127. Kind of means like on, type of, like a full on. So that's on, you know. So for uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. How you do that, and then you can you know duplicate, change this to a one or whatever you know you want, and then change this to the next note. So you just need to match up this number with your Lightroom plugin right there. Now the first first obstacle that you'll come in to uh, when you try to create this is when you create uh, when you start the knob room, you need actually a MIDI out. You need a MIDI MIDI out, and to start a MIDI out, you need to go into the audio MIDI setup. This is a built-in application in your Mac, so you just go ahead and search for it and open it up. When you open it up, it'll come up like this, and you can navigate to Window and Show MIDI Studio, and then you double-click on Network here, and you'll get a nice little session thing here. Hit the Add button, it'll turn on, make sure it's checked, and then pretty much good to go. That's all you need to do to create an output. Yeah, so just start up the, the knob room and then start that up. And that, that's much pretty much all you need to do. So now if I start this, I actually only have two that are working right now. Actually, I have all of them. I guess I didn't save. Oh, no, I just have those two, which is on and off. So I hit three. It won't actually do because I actually hit that save um, when I created those two new ones. So let's go back over to this and let me import my other one that I saved. Go in there, boom, boom, boom. All right, so that's really nice. Knob Room is really nice at activating presets, but now I'm gonna show you how to use the sliders as well. That's where these uh, CC ones come in. The uh, control, I think it's like control something, but yeah. And then you can set the same thing. This is like uh, CC1, CC0, and we actually want to change it to the develop, and then um, most of it. Uh, you just want to use the increment tent, the inter incremental tent and incremental exposure, and then these things. Uh, this this top set worked for me pretty well, and then these two for vibrance and saturation. So once you have that set up, you see that it's happening right here. I set up uh, a nice CC for all of these things. Pretty, pretty sweet. Now all I need to do is use. Actually, have now I just need some sliders. Keyboard Maestro doesn't have no sliders, but I'm gonna show you a beautiful little application here. Let me turn on my iPhone. Let me turn on my iPhone. Okay, it is called the MIDI designer. Uh-huh, yeah, that's MIDI designer. So this is what it pretty much looks like. So you, I got like all my presets right here. I'm actually not connected and I'm gonna show you how to connect it again. So now we're since, um, I haven't figured out a way to route both um, Keyboard Maestro and MIDI designer, but uh, yeah, so all you know, now that I've turned on my iPhone and started the app application, I can actually see it here and then I've just added it, boom, looking real good. So now let's go back to Lightroom. So yeah, so I need to just start and make sure I start knob room again. And then I just need to change the routing. When you ever, whenever you close knob room, it kind of takes a while, but that's okay. Start it up, change it over to network one. So now we're using the network one, which is, which we have our, uh, and right now we have the iPhone routing in. So start that and just go ahead and so nice little black and white with clarity. Pretty good. Let's try something like a black and white. I'm in a nice little 1920. Vignette is a little bit too much. Ooh, dude, that's crazy vignette. Okay, let's reset that. Maybe just try like a like a film. Try a little film. A little green. Man, I just love that green. Let's go beach. Try that beach. Okay. Actually. I'm really like, okay, see so this is what happens when you push, go like push crazy. Just take it slow, one time, one button at a time. Let's go, hmm. I think it was box red. I really like box red with a narrow vignette. 
and then I'm gonna go over to my sliders and then the blacks pump up my blacks a little bit and I wanted to change the tint come on come on come on maybe it was the temperature no nope. maybe I need to do that before I did all this yeah I probably need to do that before hmm nah yep I mean you get the point you know I'm not professional I'm not like a pro pro light rumor but uh, try to just pop no it doesn't it doesn't do that the way I want reset everything instead of doing that let's just change the tint which I wanted to do it just like change the tint a little bit and then increase the the whites a little bit yeah that's pretty much what I wanted to do make it like nice and dreamy decrease the contrast just a little a little bit and maybe the mid so yeah that's pretty much what I wanted to do I mean then on top of that I guess I could apply some nice little vignette and that vignette is a little bit too much. I wonder if I can undo that vignette. Yeah. And then maybe add a little sharpen and a little, a little grain. So that, I mean, that's pretty much, you know, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm happy with that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.